Well, good afternoon, guys. It is Sunday, March 5th, 2017, and the Orlando journey continues. So this morning I headed over to the conference early, and great talks. Conference is fantastic, guys. Um, ah, I'm really having I'm really having a great time. But you know they don't really allow they strictly prohibit filming there, um, understandably so. A major focus of this conference is continuing education, and people work really hard on their talks, and they give really great talks. So you just have to be cognizant that somebody's not stealing their stuff. Um, so. I don't film, so I'm not really filming the conference part, plus I think it'd be sort of boring for you guys. But oh, it's another gorgeous day here. Oh, looking out here on the golf course. But I had a fantastic time last night at uh, the Magic Kingdom. Um, so I split her up into two parts of a vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed doing it that way. Um, and today I've got uh, more fun on the dock at this late afternoon and evening. Traveling skincare update, guys. This is a product that I actually am detesting, and I'll tell you why. Okay, so you know, it's always like dermatologist recommended, and yeah, it pretty much falls out of our mouth. It, recommend a gentle cleanser. Why not try Cetaphil? But here's the thing. This sucks, okay? I'm sorry if that's offensive. Specifically, and I, you know, I had forgotten how much I don't really actually care for this. I only got it because this was all they had as far as a quote-unquote gentle cleanser that I knew I could bring with me. See, normally I wash my makeup off in the shower using the Neutrogena Foaming Face Wash, and it's perfect. I barely have to use any of it, like, like, a, like a pea, I mean a, a really tiny amount, and that's it. All I wear is mascara. This I used quite a bit on my eyelashes and around my eyes. Get out of the shower and I look like look like a character out of Splash Mountain. <laughs> so this just does not work. The purpose of cleansing your face is to remove makeup, okay? That, that's all you really need. This is all the makeup I really use is this Colossal Mascara. It's not a waterproof mascara. It comes off with ease using um, my foaming face wash. I barely have to use anything. so. So yeah, I'm I'm just not a fan. And specifically, this is the creamy one. This there's a creamy one and a clear one. So what did I end up doing last night? Well, not ideal to get my mascara to get the raccoon eyes off. I had to come in with the hotel shampoo. Not something you want to be doing. Okay, I do not advocate for this, but desperate times call for desperate measures. I could not go to bed looking like a raccoon. It just would eat away at my psyche. Um, so yeah, that's just a little skincare update. Um, for Cetaphil, and specifically, it's the creamy one, which they sell. Which is what, which is what you get if you buy Cetaphil cleanser at Costco. That big size is this creamy one, and I just find that it's completely useless. They make a, co a colorless one, right? That's clear. And I've heard you guys have commented that you've used it, and it kind of stung. And I totally agree because it's essentially the consistency of shampoo. Um, so it's that one does take your makeup off but is not gentle in it by any means. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little skincare update in terms of that. Oh, but another one. So major shout out to Coolie Bar. I don't know if you picked up in the uh, vlog yesterday, I was not reapplying sunscreen at all. And while it is cool here, the sun is potent in Florida. And this is the first time, guys, that I have come to Florida and not had like a little triangle of, of strawberry here and a little, um, triangle of strawberry pink here, which you do not want. I did not reapply any sunscreen on my face, but look, I mean, the, the brim, see the brim on, see the brim on Cooley Bar? He has just nicely protected my nose. This is prime real estate here for sun-related skin damage that leads to those pre-skin cancers called actinic keratoses, which are not pleasant, okay, to, ha to have to deal with, because the treatment is that little freezing spray. Shout out if you've ever had that. I haven't, but I tell patients that it's kind of like an ice cream headache without the ice cream. There ain't no pineapple whip involved in that. It just, it just burns. It burns. It's like a bad headache, so shout out to Cooley for really, uh, Shaden. I'm so loving these Disney, these Mickey Swarovskis. Aren't they so cute, guys? <laughs> these are totally just making the, they're totally making the trip a little bit funner. A little bit funner. Um, I'm at this place called Moe's, which um, I have never been to. I think it's kind of in the theme of Chipotle's tex mex -y. We'll see. All right, so I really like this place. Check it out, guys. Got a salad, and look how voluminous it is. It's got tofu, black beans, 
cucumber, bell pepper, cilantro, romaine, um, and lime wedges. And then the best part is it comes with free chips and they have an unlimited salsa bar. And I, of course, had to try all the salsa. have to try all the salsas. Um, this was all only $7. I'm kind of thinking that this is way, way better than Chipotle, don't you guys think? When they have the salsa bar, it really ups their game. Like, I'm a huge fan of the salsa bar, so I can't get enough of it. That was delicious. I give most two thumbs up. Uh, last thing you want to do is head into an amusement park on an empty stomach. That sounds not amusing. Um, but speaking of which, guys, not including my workout yesterday, I took a look at my um, step counter on my phone. I clocked 14 miles uh, between walking at the conference and uh, the Magic Kingdom. So I got my steps in. <laughs> Insect repellent, in a lotion form. Two days back, I spoke about DEET and um, uh, DEET containing uh, bug repellents, but the keratin is also effective for mosquito, for repelling mosquitoes, and the CDC has listed it as um, an effective uh, mosquito repellent. Studies show that it offers about eight hours of protection against mosquitoes effectively, but I'll re-emphasize the fact that you're going to be applying sunscreen to your body every two hours. So bear that in mind, especially if there's some sort of combination product that has both an insect repellent and a sunscreen in them. They're generally a bad idea because you're, you need to reapply sunscreen far more frequently than you need to reapply um, insect repellent. Welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello, on your tour you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Intact senses are key for a good skin exam, guys. You gotta see, touch, smell. No, I don't want you out of my sight. And here, okay. to listen to the Come patient. Come on, everybody, here we go! Um, hello? Hello! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. And each of us imagines different things. From just the sound, your mind has wings. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, figment-free manner... And let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. It's exactly what I imagine. Imagination is the brain's open Cream comes from. In the depth they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. Avoid the scorching rays. See, even the wildlife in the desert have common sense. Hey, kicking it with Ree, the pioneer woman. All the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. I said, you know, pineapple. Diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. 
These are just a few of the yellow well plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. He's Many the are rich in vitamins and minerals. I gotta check While him out in my uh, culinary pursuit. Look, it's Pattaya, guys. Dragon fruit. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. So neem is not a very good insect repellent, guys. We're trying to grow that pumpkin into a... Oh, check out the pumpkin. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques mm. like these increase yields Celiacs, while beware. more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, yeah, and pesticides. All this veggie's getting me hungry again. Speaking of wheat and uh, celiac disease, uh, looks like Epcot's got your back with their uh, special dietary trees. OMG, it's gluten-free fudge. <laughs> Basically a tortilla and hummus. Yeah, that's cool. Noodle salad. I wonder if this is the same uh, salad I had the other night. That was pretty good. I normally incline more to the dessert one.